In this video segment, we will discuss creating data groups for data collection and analysis using SQCPEC. Think of a data group as a single process or a single part on your production line that's being rapidly produced, with samples being taken every certain number of parts for SPC monitoring. An SQCPEC data group would serve as the home for this SPC data and will automatically generate default control charts and histograms for you to monitor your processes in real time. Seen here is the data entry grid for a data group already created. As new data is entered, the chart on the right will be updated instantaneously to reflect this change and would prompt for instantaneous action should a point be entered out of control or out of spec. From the data entry screen, if you'd like to get to your default control chart or histogram, you would simply highlight the measurement characteristic, and from the ribbon, click on control chart or histogram. If you think you're ready to create your own data group, follow these easy steps. In your SQCPAC database, from the data group section, click new data group. In this step, you'll define the column headers for each of the characteristics you wish to collect data for. For each identifier, you can explore validation criteria to force specific entry types or utilize choice lists to ensure accuracy and data collection. In this example, I would like to keep track of the date and the operator that's entering the data as my identifiers. First, a date column. Column type is an identifier. Data type would be a date and I would like to require entry. A second column, operator, column type, also an identifier, and I would like to use the operator choice list that I've already created so that users must choose from the choice list who's entering this data. I will also require entry here. And for my two measurement characteristics, I'm going to keep track of inside and outside diameter. Column type is a measurement characteristic. You'll see here that for measurement characteristics, you can define your upper target and lower specifications. You can also force minimum and maximum allowable values. This again ensures accuracy in your data collection process. Finally, outside diameter. Once you're ready to begin collecting data, save your data group Give it a name, and you'll be prompted to begin entering data at that point. Once enough data is entered, you'll see the real-time chart on the right. And that's all it takes to begin collecting and analyzing data in an SQCPAC data group. 